Today we're going to talk about the basic stroke and how to hold the sticks. Real basic beginning stuff, but a lot of times it's something that if we don't start at the foundation, it's very easy to develop bad habits and to not allow yourself to be as free to play whatever you want to play. That's why technique is important. You know, I never overemphasize technique because obviously everyone kind of plays the way they play, but technique for technique's sake doesn't really make sense, but technique for being able to accomplish what you want to accomplish musically that makes sense. So some basic ideas, and again, this may be beginner kind of stuff, but I think it's really, really important. So the basic stroke is, or actually the basic grip, is we're holding the stick with our thumb and first finger. And this is called the fulcrum. The fulcrum is basically the pivot point. So that's where that stick is pivoting. And I like to sort of explain that as a teeter-totter. So you have that pivot point, and the stick is then pivoting between your thumb and first finger. These guys are just hanging out around the stick, so we're not squeezing down on the stick, and there's creating a little cavity there for the stick to be able to move within there. So that way you have access to your fingers, and you can use your fingers, and then you also have a nice firm grip up here in the front. Trying to keep this place here, the thumb and first finger, that spot is closed up as, as possible. You don't want a big gap in there like that. You don't want a big gap because that's just kind of weird and awkward. You want to be able to have a nice firm grip, which then again tightens that up, closes up that gap. Now I'm going to show you match grip, which is the same thing. So that means the left, they're matched. It looks exactly like the right. All right, so no difference. Now there is traditional grip. I'm not really going to go into that. We may in another video sometime. But traditional grip is, is this technique. And completely different, completely different concept, completely different fulcrum. Uh, the way you use your fingers is different, so there's a lot going on with the traditional grip. Now let's just focus on match grip. And really, this is the majority of people play match grip. Again, you can argue all day on the differences, but we're going to go with match grip today. So thumb and first finger, that gap being tightened up, loose here, having that cavity for your stick to be able to move around. The other part that's really important with the basic stroke is being able to have a combination of your hand your wrist and your arm in the stroke. Because if we play everything with just wrist, that's kind of weird, and we don't have as much movement, we don't have as much power, there's a lot of things that we're limited. If we play everything with just fingers, then we don't have as much speed, we don't have that snap, we don't have the big, you, know, you can get the big sound by lifting your arm up. So it's a combination of all three. And sometimes we'll use some more than others. But the idea is, is that they're all involved into the stroke. The fingers, the wrist, and the arm. So if I make a basic stroke with my right hand, it's going to look like this. So I am lifting up with my arm. My wrist is moving. When the stick hits, my fingers are moving. They're allowing the stick to move within that cavity. So all of those things are happening at the same time. Same thing with the left hand. Okay, it's again matched, so they should look exactly the same. One thing I always tell my students when they're first starting out, it sounds kind of weird, but it's really important, is to play in front of a mirror. Because if you see your hands doing weird things, then you know something's not quite right, and you've got to fix what's going on so you don't have these weird things happening. So weird things, uh, for example, I see this a lot, where the fingers want to go out. Okay, so what happens when the fingers go out? Well, I lose control of my fingers. I can't use them anymore because they're out here. And now, again, when we're playing just a single stroke, it doesn't matter. I can put my fingers out and I can play it. I mean, it's not a problem. But it's not good practice because we will need them at some point. And so we want to make sure that they're right there, ready to go when we do need them. So sticking your fingers out, that's a weird thing. The other thing I'll see a lot is this, where we turn the thumb up. When we turn the thumb up, all of a sudden now we lose wrist. My wrist doesn't really want to move very much this way, right? It wants to move this way. Here again is a good example of why technique is not the end all, but it's a tool to allow you to play more effectively and to do what you want to do easier. And that's the goal. We want to be able to accomplish what we want to accomplish on the drum set without having to work too hard. And so if we keep that top of the hand relatively flat, that gets us in this position where then we can use our wrist adequately and the wrist can move this way. All right? 
which again, the wrist can't. Now there's some times where I might turn in. If I want to use my fingers more, or if I'm playing the ride cymbal and I'm using more of my fingers, you know, again, I'm taking the, the basic fundamental techniques and I'm altering them to get a sound that I want to get a sound. And that's, that's what we want to do. We want to be able to interpret musically what's going on by using our technique. But when we're playing just like this with basic stroke, we want to make sure that that top of the hand is relatively flat. The other thing which contributes to the thumb going up is the elbows coming in. If your elbows come in, the tendency is the thumbs go up. So in order to have the thumbs focused this way, your elbows have to be out a little bit. Okay, And again, it's just natural. These are things that when you're in front of a mirror and you look at it, it'd be like, oh, okay, uh, I look weird. This is weird. My, hand, my elbows are all tucked into my body. We don't want them to be tucked in. We want them to be out a little bit so it's nice and loose and relaxed and the top of the hand is relatively flat. And then that third thing I just said, nice and loose and relaxed, super important. So many times people want to do this, grab onto the stick. When you grab onto the stick, that tension is going to come out in the instrument. You know, these are resonant instruments. They ring, they have vibrations. And if you have tension in the stick and tension in your body, that's going to come through on the instruments, especially the cymbals. You'll hear that tension and you won't hear that open, loose, free kind of a sound. So super relaxed. I am barely holding the stick. When I'm playing like fast, those are double strokes. When I'm playing that, I'm barely holding the stick. The stick is doing all the work. I'm just guiding it and directing it, okay? So super relaxed and very, very loose. All right, so when you practice this to begin with, we want to take all these things we've talked about. Top of the hand flat, fulcrum here in thumb and first finger, a little cavity for the fingers. And we want to just alternate, right, left, right, left, like this. Three and four. And just watching our hands to make sure there's nothing weird happening. Okay? So that's the basic stroke. Again, super simple, but super important. These are things everyone should practice. And always check up, too. You know, if you've been playing for a long time and you know, maybe take a look at just playing alternating like that. Look at your hands and say, hmm, am I doing anything weird that's really inhibiting my technique to allow me to be able to do what I want to do musically? You know, it's never too old to change. You're never too old to adapt your technique to allow yourself to play more effectively. All right? So I hope you enjoy this and uh, keep practicing. <laughs>